Leeds Brazilian soccer school was born after Simon Clifford visited the football-obsessed country and brought back the tricks and technique of the most successful nation in the history of the game. Hey, give him that ball. Well, since coming back from Brazil, we've really uh, gone from strength to strength here. And I've took all of those ideas that I got from Brazil last year and really put those into practice. And there's now not much difference between uh, the players here and those I've seen in Brazil. I like all the ways how we kick the ball, using different parts of the foot and the ball to kick. With my local club that I used to play for, they used to just like whack the ball up into the forwards and it was not, they weren't playing football. You're not just toughing it up the field and we are way of play, get onto it, you're passing it around and gradually getting to it next. So everyone wants to watch skills on the pitch. Like when Janino played in England, like, he was, if we, he was one of the most exciting players and even if he won a very good game, it would be a good game to watch because he was playing. Simons taught the boys the game of football de salon. Played on the courts of space conscious San Paolo, it uses a smaller, heavier ball to improve control. And now he's looking forward to finding out just how far his lads have come. We're going out to San Paolo for 10 days and the children will experience top class coaching in football de salon and, and conventional football. What I'm hoping in the main, and I've said this to the kids, is that they'll think in life anything's possible, and that's my philosophy with them. And this trip, I'll, I hope, will impregnate that in their minds that, you know, if they want to do something in life, they can. The money's been a problem, raising the money. We, we wrote over a thousand letters to different sponsors for the kids, and, you know, no, our budget's uh, taken, we can't help. Good, Steve, bye. And then Viviani Senna in Brazil, Ayrton Senna's sister, she got in touch with me and her and the University of São Paulo uh, said they'd help the children with their food and accommodation. So what we've had to do is find the money for their flights, which the kids have done car washes, uh, sponsored walks, and, and them and the parents have been absolutely first class. It's almost two years that we first talked about the idea of the children going to Brazil with the first group of children to go to Brazil to go to South America from this country in the name of football to play football so as well as representing Leeds our club soccer school we're also I, I suppose representing England and it's a very it's a it's a very big honor I can't wait I, I really am looking forward to it and I think we'll do I don't know might pull off a couple of good wins I've gone to Sao Paulo and I've been waiting for this trip ages. It's going to be brilliant. Best things I'll ever do in my life. And like, not, not that many kids get a chance to do it. Biggest city in Brazil. My granddad told me that. But before jetting off, the lads have the chance to test their ability against the schoolboys of a leading premiership club. What do you want to do about the sweatshirt? Uh, I'll just have the t-shirt. <laughs> It's a few estates around Leeds, it's not the whole of Leeds and we've came together and we're playing well as a team. We know that we'll be run out at Middlesbrough and they'll close down on us fast. We won't get the time on the ball that we're doing in our league at the moment because in our league at the moment we've been thrashing teams but he says when we go to Middlesbrough it'll be a big change because we won't get as much time to do all his skills and that, that it's going to have to be quick passing and moving. The Leeds lads first played their own speciality football de salon against Middlesbrough's young professionals. They struggled against the more powerful opposition, but the Middlesbrough coaches were very receptive to the new game and saw how the smaller, heavier ball could improve their young players' control. This is the first time that Middlesbrough have made such an approach to an amateur club or a team. You know, it's a great honour for the for the children, not only for me. Obviously Middlesbrough are looking at learning something from the football de salon and maybe just seeing if they can take a little bit of that and using it in their club. Interesting. I think it's um, 
it's a very tight area and it encourages the lads to try things with the feet, quick feet. This is the first time I've seen it in action. I wanted something for our coaches just to have a look at that was different, um, new, um, and whatever our coaches can take away from this game, then it can only be good for our kids. The Leeds boys lost 4-0 at their own game of football de Salon. They would soon, though, get the chance for revenge later in the day. Well, we were off to the Riverside Stadium and we were going to be playing them in an 11 aside game. And if we're, all, okay, if we're all playing our best, I reckon we'll give them a good game now. But before the game, a tour of Middlesbrough Stadium. What we're going to do, we're going to go right through the tunnel into the stadium, then work our way back out this way. So try and close up a little bit, you won't get lost. This is our director's box, it seats 173 people. That young fella there is in Brian Robson's seat. Now this is the board. There's only two directors on the board at this club, Mr Cook and Mr Gibson. So sure, you had a big bath when you played football. What they don't say is you had a big cold plunge next to it as well, full of icy cold water. And Jim used to stand there with a knotty skipping rope. You lash it around your behind and say, get in there. You'll close your paws and you won't catch cold. But I never ever saw that bugger go in. Right, don't be nervous about this game. Like, I think you were a little bit nervous this morning. You have skills and you're able to do things. No, believe me, nobody else can do. You're as good as anybody. And in some parts of your game, I think you're better than anybody. And I want you to show that today. All right, come on. Despite the earlier disappointment in true lead style, the under-15s gained a highly creditable draw against one of the best junior sides in the country. Today's gone very well. It's been great for our children to be pitched against kids at the very highest level of the sport in this country at a football academy, and a very good football academy at that. They've, they've found it tough, but uh, they're certainly holding their own, especially, I'd say, in terms of the, the technical ability. I mean, we've played Liverpool, we've played you know, Manchester, etc. And they've all been very, very close games. And Simon can be very proud of what, what he's produced there. And it may be something that we've, we've got to learn. It may be the football de seller uh, solution. I don't know. That's good football. Here, Paddy, give me that thing. played brilliant today. All of us. I'm really pleased. For, for the whole of this is a fantastic way to end today. Fantastic way to end. You've been a credit to, to yourselves, your parents, and um, to Simon. And uh, I'd just like to wish you all the best for your Brazilian trip. And I hope you make all the Brazilians smile with all these English skills. I remember round the park when it first started, yeah. saying one day you might be going to Brazil and you say you wish, and here we are now. We are the first sort of footballing group to go that far, so, it, so it's not easy, but uh, it's going to be well worth it. We've got to the airport in Manchester without a hitch, I just hope the rest of the journey goes as smoothly. Have a nice time. All right, love you. Yeah, give me your best. <laughs> Home for the next 10 days was to be São Paulo, the biggest city in Brazil. The boys stayed at the city's university, where local disadvantaged children are educated, thanks to a legacy left by the late motor racing driver Ayrton Senna. Meeting the Brazilian kids and the interchange between them and our kids has been one of the most pleasing things for me. There was a, a bond between them straight away, despite the fact that there was obviously a language barrier. Um, football is a universal language. The lads first played the small ball game of football de Salon against the Senna children. 